Alright guys, I'm putting this up as a warning video. Um, so, people have been trying to get a hold of me uh, from somewhere in Texas. I'm not sure. I, I It's a 1-800 number, and they keep on saying, oh no, your credit's good, you're, eh, you haven't gotten in a wreck in a certain uh, days on your driver's license. And I'm like, dude, I may be 17. But that's the first thing. I'm 17. I don't even have a license right now. I'm allowed to get one, but I don't have one because I have no vehicle to drive. I have my parents' vehicles, but they won't let me practice with theirs. And they keep on calling me repeatedly. It's from this 214 number. They've been calling me. I know it's the same guy because he's always opening up. Hello, this is Jordan Smith. From blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to name the company because I keep on purposely forgetting it. But um, they're, they're calling from here in Texas. See that restricted number at the top? They just tried and call me restricted. Same guy, same name. I could even tell the accent was his. This is a warning to everyone out there. These guys, if you recognize this number... Hang up, or tell them to put you on the call on the no call list. Sorry, I have. Uh, but if you if you keep on answering and telling them not to put you on, well, keep on telling them to put you on the no call list. I'll call you anyways, just by that restricted number. And I was like, dude, you realize even if you put it under a restricted number, I can still tell it's you. I can still track down the phone number I mean they've I've gotten these New York phone numbers I finally just blocked them and then I tried blocking this Texas one and then they started calling me by restricted which you cannot block because it says restricted on it it doesn't have an actual number so whatever I do I can't block it so I have this Arizona phone number, put that on the block. Well, I haven't put it on the block list because I don't know if it's a company or not. This New York one, be aware of the number. If, if you don't know who these guys are, like you don't recognize the number, don't answer, don't answer. These guys have been trying to contact me for the past three months off this phone and have been telling me, a loan has been approved. I never applied for a loan. They have my name. They have my number. And they're saying that I have a loan approved. And it sounds like a bad Siri phone call. So these guys are scammers, I guess. That's that's what I'm saying. They're scammers. Um, and this New Mexico number should still put that under... Uh, all the scammer things I did like Las Vegas they haven't tried calling me back I'm guessing that that was the wrong number or something I did get a Georgia number one time and I I just here it is the way across Georgia um I that was just a wrong number I answered in they're like I'm looking for somebody that wasn't my name not gonna say the name but this was a couple days ago. They tried. Eh, I answered, and yeah. So this this is another time that somebody tried calling me by restricted number. Uh, it was the uh, it was a different number. I don't even know where it's at. Oh yeah, it's this eight 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 number. Um, they had tried me multiple times. I finally put them. Under block, they tried to use restricted as well. So, these 1 800 numbers, they always are trying to call me, and uh, it just really pisses me off. Do not answer any calls by any of these eight, uh, 1 800 numbers. This Texas number, don't answer. Don't answer, or they will repeatedly call you even if you block their number and put it under restricted. I am really ticked off right now, if you cannot tell.
because they have tried me repeatedly. I just got off the phone with them. And my dad, thank goodness, grabbed my phone and he told them that since I'm eight, since I'm 17, I'm still a minor. And legally, we're allowed to sue them. That is the truth. We are allowed to sue them because they're calling a minor when they're not supposed to. And, I mean, I... Everything that I put on, I try to stick my age a couple years younger than what I really am. This email that I'm using, it's at my age but there are emails that I have put to where I'm a couple of years younger, so I'm more listed under the uh, minors, and nobody can email me any sort of things. I also have restricted myself from a couple of YouTube videos, which is a good thing. Uh, so I am probably going to do that with this email, back it up a couple of years so in real life, I will be 17, but on the email, I'll be something like 13, and I can't access certain videos uh, next year when I turn 18, which my parents will be relieved about, but it's not like I will try looking them up anyways. So, uh, but again, this is a warning to everyone out there that's watching. Do not answer these guys' phone numbers, because they will continually call you, no matter if you tell them to stop or not. I have also gotten texts by these guys. The automated systems say that they stop. I keep on getting text messages from them because they keep on putting the number back in the system. They're like, oh wait, this guy's deleted the uh, count thing from his side. Let's put it back on. Let's text him again. This really pisses me off. They need to learn how to stop. <sighs> I'm really ticked off. But, again, if, if these guys call you, do not answer. Whatsoever. Do not answer. So, hopefully I calm down. And hopefully these guys will learn to stop calling. So, this is Dreamcatcher signing off. Um, the videos that I said that I was going to post... I looked them over before I posted them. One of them has it. The camera is supposed to be faced like this. Camera mode is faced like this while the camera is faced like this. So something's wrong there. I don't know what, what's wrong. Uh, so for the video, it's supposed to be looking like this. But it's looking like this. But also like that. So, and all I did to do this was put the phone flat and turn it, but I, I had done that with uh, trails and the watching, and I guess my phone glitched out or something. So, I, I hope you guys don't get any problems by these 1-800 numbers. I know it doesn't say 1-800, it says 214, but they, they're still scammers. They're, they're trying to get your money. They're trying to get something out of you. They're called scammers. Do not answer. So, uh, hope you guys have a good day. Uh, this is Dreamcatcher signing off. Remember, keep on dreaming. Hope you guys do not answer this. Alright, bye.